So, back here at the Sunny Hill Restoration Area, we've been here before. Um, I'm surprised, you know, you can see, <laughs> there's the, uh, that's the Ocala National Forest right there, by the way. And uh, there is somebody here, somewhere. I don't see them going down the trail. Now, we're going to make uh, two videos today. I'm going to wait till we get up to the sign right up here, and I'll show you what I'm going to do for the hiking video. And then I want to make uh, it's okay to be human video uh, just to just to talk about things because uh, you know a lot of people get embarrassed about a lot of things and uh, I'm going to tell you some embarrassing stories about me because uh, yeah I don't care what you think of me but uh, anyway let's get on the trail okay so I'm going to try to use my uh, finger in the video here to kind of show you what I got in mind. For today okay you can see the you are here sign right there and what this we're gonna hike right down this road and then what happens is the last time I was here there's actually a trail that goes this way it's not even on the map and you know me I like going off grid yeah cuz I've been down to these uh, this is this is actually a um, um, uh, power line that's what the uh, line represents uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of hiking to do in here just like on the Oklawa River and in fact uh, if you look on the map uh, There's a um, There's a south trailhead uh, And then over here. There's another place that I want to get to where we can hike along the river Going up this way and there's a tower an observation tower somewhere. There it is right there on that trail um, so I want to see that so you can see there's just a whole lot of hiking, you know, and like I said So today we're just gonna go off-grid. Let's get going Dummy me I forgot to give you the spill and plus I wanted to get the uh, the website uh, So hiking horseback riding primitive camping. There's only one designated uh, Primitive campsite now. I there's lots of places to pull up in here in camp so I but I, you know, it is a real, real nice campground. We've seen it before. We won't be going there today. Uh, you know, be sure and get the uh, the website, Florida, floridaswater.com slash camping. That's where you're going to get your permit. Um, or you can call 386-329-4404. That's 386-329-4404. Um, so anyway, that's, that's about it. Uh, I'd show you the other side of the sign real quick. I should have done that the first time. It, you know, it basically tells you about the uh, the restoration area that this used to be an old farm residence. I'll let you pause the video right there because we, we covered that the last time I was here. Okay, so, all right, Sunny Hill Restoration Area. All righty, let's get going. Okay, we'll add this to the, the hiking video. So, you know, I did the right back there. Now we're just coming down the left, the left side. But I want you to see this. Uh, we've done this hike before, but... Uh, yeah, it's kind of a cool look, you know, you're making the turn, or just a little turn here. And uh, let me just let you enjoy the, the ambiance of the day. Once again, not a, not a living soul out here. This is... Uh, these are hidden treasures here in Florida. I, I can't imagine. Well, I think this is three or four thousand acres back here for this. Uh, I'm so thankful that we're preserving places like this in Florida. Because uh, I'm, 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 I pray to God this never gets developed. Uh, that this will remain a nature preserve and uh, just, just beautiful. I mean, what, what do you, would you rather hike around the neighborhood with? A bunch of houses on asphalt or would you prefer to come out here and and do this okay it looks like quicksand over there doesn't it I showed that the last time I was here well we'll try to save some video it's getting way too long I want to get one of the, the campground again just because I'm so impressed with this campground and I do do want to come out here and go camping I got to talk to them about that but I couldn't do anything until I got the carrier on the back of my motorcycle because uh, what I'd like to do is uh, bring the motorcycle and load up firewood. And then, you know, it says no motor vehicles. But if I told them, look, I'm just going to take, because, you know, it's a dirt bike. And I could run the firewood 
out to the uh, the campground and just put a bunch of firewood out there you know one day um, but you know and then the next day I can ride back home and then grab all my camping gear load that up maybe in the car and come back and uh, and then do some do some camping but we're getting late in the season it's uh, if I don't get out here within the next month or two it just ain't gonna work and there's just been too many things well like I said I'm still trying to get the carrier on the back of the motorcycle so all right so we've been here before but I wanted to get this on the video we do have some trees that are just amazing here in Florida and uh, so I just want to show you what we came down we'll walk down this, this dirt road that goes all the way back to the parking lot eh, nothing to it you know and so I didn't take any video there but I wanted to, to show the hikers you know what I'm coming up to and the campers too because uh, this was confusing to me the last time I was here was you know you see the little camp symbol on the post right there now the actual primitive camping area is right down to the left here um, but if you look at that sign I almost, I almost thought they were talking about camping right here because <laughs> they got the little camp thing right there now if you look it's just faded out there is a little arrow and I didn't see that the last time uh, so they, they just need to redo the sign um, so but like I said uh, you know what we could do you saw the dotted lines um, we're gonna come up here and the trail actually goes well it goes left and right but like I showed you back there on the uh, sign it doesn't show the trail going to the right and so that's what we're gonna do today it's a uh, there's not much to the hike. I, that's why I'm going to make some other videos, uh, you know, maybe a do as I say, not as I do type of video. I mean, uh, just think about it. Okay, I'm, I'm way off the grid. Hey, you know, the only thing that, that even shows that there's a person back here is my motorcycle park, parked up there. Um, so uh, if something were to happen, ain't nobody gonna find me. Be back here, you know, from an animal attack. And we're gonna get into all that on my uh, hiking. I'm gonna talk, give you hiking tips here in just a few. Uh, let's get on to the, the, I'll show you the right hand turn. Well, you can kind of see it. It's right up here. And then we're gonna make that right and just head on down to those phone. Those, that's as far as we got the last time we were here was to those phone lines. And uh, so let's just get going. So this is the beginning of the trail. Isn't this cool? Got the water here beside it. Probably some gators in there. Hopefully I won't get too close to them like I did the <laughs> on the last hike. Because uh, yeah, I don't want to be chased by one, that's for damn sure. And uh, But you can see now that this is not even on the, the map and I don't understand it. Because it looks like it's a maintained trail. Obviously something's been back in here and has cut it. Uh, you know, so it's just it's just a lot of this most of the way. Um, since uh, let's wait till we got something to look at, and then I'll I'll give you my hiking tips. Uh, we'll add that to this video because uh, if you are watching this, you're a hiker because uh, you enjoy watching uh, or learning about the trails. Hey, check it out! There's a bird. Oh man, what is that? A big turkey or something? Hold on, let's see if we can get him get him on the video. Uh, I could heck on it. He's kind of gotten back in there. Oh well. Hear him? It's a hawk. I don't know where he was. I was hiking under the tree. Look at him. Hopefully, I'm... I hope you're hearing that. That's cool. Well, he's gone now. Oh, there he goes. See him? Hopefully, I'm getting him on the video. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Here, here he's coming back. Boy, I tell you, most of the time they just fly away and I don't get them on the video. All right, I guess you've seen enough. Uh, but wait, we have had the birds on this hike. Uh, I've seen about, I guess they're turkeys because they're pretty doggone big. But they, and they're on the trail, but I never could get close enough to get them on the video, doggone it. Uh, you know, because I, I could see them like way up there in the distance. And, uh, and then they just, I guess they would know I'm coming and then they dash off into the, the weeds. You can still hear that hawk wherever he's at. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, man, I hope I'm getting him. 
This is the best bird video that I've done in a long time because he's just hanging around here. Here he comes again. There he goes. All right, all right, all right. Okay, that's enough. So I kind of wanted to get this on the video because the last time I was here, I was seeing that off in the distance and I did not know what it was. That's the power lines. And that's what I was telling you. I showed you on the map that it doesn't even show this trail. I mean, it does show the power lines. Um, but let, you know, let's get into a little bit of talking about hiking in general. Uh, number one, it can lead to divorce. <laughs> My wife is all pissed off because I'm not playing golf these days. I'm coming out here and hiking. It's, it's, a lot of it's to do with the virus, but the other was because I love hiking. I mean, this is my passion, man. Yeah, everybody's got to have, you got to have a passion in life. And if you haven't got one, try to figure out what it is. Whether it's working on computers or gardening or, you know, all of the above. Um, you know, and so she's, and I always invite, you know, my liberal wife to come out here and enjoy a hike with me. And she says, well, you, you go too darn far. And uh, anyway, so let's get to those hiking tips. You know, the, the first, I mean, these are just common sense things, but uh you know, the first, like I said, do as I say, not as I do, is uh, <laughs> you shouldn't be out here by yourself like I do. But, but you know, I, I live in a retirement community, and I don't know anybody anywhere that, well, number one, even likes hiking. And if they do, they just hike around the community, and that's the most boring hike in the world. I'd rather list, risk life and limb coming out here to see stuff like this, you know, uh, than just hike around the community. Uh, I just, I just, I, I, I love it. You know, if I have a heart attack, you know, they can't even get it. They won't even have an ambulance out here to get me. Now, I do have the phone, so in theory, I could make a phone call, but try, try telling them where you are. <laughs> I'm in the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. You come down the dirt road, and then you make a right, and, you know, try to get back here, you know, and some of the trails that I do, you couldn't even get a vehicle down, you know. So, uh, that's, that's the first one. second one is, uh, and look at look at me today take a look huh no hat well it's a windy windy day and uh that hat was going to blow all over the dog on place it makes a lot of noise and i just want to enjoy the the sounds of nature so i don't have one on but if you look up it's kind of a semi-cloudy day so my head's not going to get too baked now and also your choice of hat You've seen my hat, you know, it covers up the back of the neck, uh, it flops out on the sides and covers the ears. Um, so you're not going to wear a baseball cap when you're going to be out hiking for hours and hours at a time. So that's, uh, that's my second tip. And you see, uh, no hiking stick today. Now, do you really need it on a trail like this? No, not really. But it is nice to have and it has saved my life. And, you know, one of the things that I think about is, suppose a critter came at me. You know, let's say, well, we don't have mountain lions here, but we do have bobcats. You know, let's say one of them came at me, you know, with, with that hiking stick. I could I could use it like a, a spear and uh, defend myself, you know. Whereas today, I'm just screwed if something attacks me. I, and I, w I was going to bring it. I was going to bring it. Um, this is another thing was, you know, I bought a, uh, a light... They've probably seen it in other videos. I like blue backpack. And uh, and so I I can put that walking stick in the back of it and ride my motorcycle. And then I got my walking stick. Well, today I went to put the doggone backpack on. And boom, the damn stick or the damn strap on the front of the backpack broke. Now, that, it would probably be all right for hiking, but it ain't going to survive 55 mile an hour winds that I'm flying out here on the motorcycle, you know, without having it strapped to the front of my body properly. So I had to leave the backpack behind. And, you know, what's in, think about what you put in your backpack. You know, obviously on a hot day like today, I was gonna bring in some water. You see any water? No. So what I had to do was hydrate, hydrate, hydrate before I began the hike. Uh, what you, you should do anyway, you know, always hydrate really, really well before you go hiking. And then, of course, you know, and like I said, don't buy them damn plastic water bottles. Get you a Yeti or a clean. That's a starts with a K, by the way. I didn't say that in another video. K, I think it's K-L-E-A-N. They're okay, but the problem is that here in Florida, they're not double walled like the, uh, the Yetis, so your water will get hot in a clean canteen. They're a hell of a lot cheaper 
But I mean, that's still a hell of a lot better than buying those stupid plastic water bottles, which is not going to keep your water cold either. So, you know, what the hell? Save the environment, folks. Okay. So that's, you know, and, and, and what else do you put in that backpack? And, uh, and this is where I got to get into the, uh, the uh, it's okay to be human video. But uh, anyway, I always put some toilet paper in there. You know, I, I mean, I'm old and I've had 15 surgeries and I've survived cancer twice. I've been nearly blown up, shot at, and you know, you name it, my body's been through hell. So sometimes you're, you're out here hiking and you got that emergency. <laughs> and so it's real important to have some toilet paper in there, you know. Uh, and then, if, of course, if you do, something like that does happen, you know, be sure and bury everything properly, you know. So that, but that, that toilet paper is biodegradable. You're not really littering, especially if you bury it properly. It'll, it'll just actually help the soil. <laughs> so, uh, not trying to gross y'all out, but we are going to get into the, the It's Okay to Be Human video, which will gross you out. You don't want to watch that video if you've got a, a uh, 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 what, uh, what do I want to say if you're a snowflake and it's, you know, you can't listen to stuff like that. So, uh, well, we're not going to put that on the hiking video. Um, so, Anyway, let's uh, let's save a little footage till we get to the power lines, and uh, I'll I'll pick up right there. But you can see, it's a nice hike, you know. And th this is another thing my liberal wife doesn't understand is this is the time of year in Florida to get out and hike these trails. You know, if it, in the summertime, would you want to be here? Well, on a windy day like today, it'd be okay. You know, 95, 100 degree temperatures. But I mean, I'm going to tell you what, if that air was stagnant. And it's a hot, humid day, which we have, you know, it's like Groundhog Day after Groundhog Day in the summertime. And the bugs, you know, you'd be out here. I wouldn't be in a short sleeve shirt with no hat and shorts on. You'd have to have your bug netting on. There. I bet the mosquitoes here with all this water, the stagnant water on the left here or the right, you know, they would be all over you. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a time of year thing. You know, when it's really, really hot and humid... You know, you can, I just do the paved trails, stay on them. So check this out. Isn't that cool? Wonder where that road goes. That's a, that's a beautiful thing about hiking is you're always wondering about things. Hmm. Okay, let's wait till we get to the power lines. So if you watch my videos, this is as far as we got the last time. Now my hope in that video was, because I was tired that day, I've been hiking for a long time was I was, I, a lot of times you can hike underneath these power lines and I'm pretty doggone sure these go right back to that road that I drove in on and then I could have hiked back to the, the parking area. But as you can see, it'd be awful hard to, to hike through there and uh, you know I wouldn't even want to try it. You could take probably take a horse through there, not through the water, but over to the left here. But uh, anyway, you can see the power lines going back uh, this way and uh, so this is as far as we got so from here on out it's all new video I hope that uh, wind is not messing with the mic but thank God for it you know I forgot to tell you another reason for having a, a proper hiking hat is not just to shelter you from the Sun it's to, it's also to, to, to keep those bugs out for your head and off of your ears you know because uh, Right, like I was, uh, the wind died down for just a little bit, and I thought, man, oh man, this is the end of my hike. But luckily, it's picked back up again now. But some flies were trying, were biting on me. And uh, what happens with that hat is they come in and they hit that rim, and they just they they're too stupid to get underneath the hat to to bite on you, you know. So it's always nice to have that hat on for for the flies. Really keeps them off, uh, which is good. Uh, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, and so there you go. Was I stupid not bringing a hat? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the other thing is in the backpack, you know. We already talked about the toilet paper and the water. You know, another thing is I always throw some snacks in there. Uh, yeah, and you can buy the, the processed crap, the crackers, if you want. Problem is, when you, when you throw in that pack around, they get all broken up, so you just, and they dry your mouth out, you know, because then they, but if you got water, you can always wash them down. I much prefer the, uh, and you gotta buy the good stuff, people. Um, don't buy that stupid granola bars with all kinds of sugar in them, you know. Sugar is bad for you anyway around. That's, 
most of it's to corn syrup you know and that's even worse for you so what you want to do is uh, if you go to Amazon you can buy the protein bars and I'm talking the good stuff you be sure and read the ingredients on them uh, if they've got sugar in them don't buy it boom you're done but if they're just a really good protein I prefer the chocolate uh, protein bars now okay here in Florida they melt in the summertime but not too bad you know I've pulled them out in 95 degree temperatures now granted it's stuck to the paper so you wouldn't want to do it on the trail like I am right now you know more of something that's not going to melt in your backpack like the crackers and stuff uh, and then I always bring some uh, plastic utensils you know sometimes on the way home you know you want to get some food and don't forget to <laughs> put, put some utensils in your bag you know you just got the whatever it is you know if it's a burger you can just eat it with your hands but uh, you know if you got a, if you got like a meal or something so you know I keep a keep a little pack of those in there uh, I keep a writing pad uh, and a pen and paper uh, because uh, you know sometimes I want to make some notes when I'm out and about uh, with my backpack I mean if, I'm, if I've got a backpack on I'm going somewhere where I need a backpack right so uh, you know maybe I want to write down a phone number or uh, you know, like back there in that, that website floridaswater.com uh, you know that, you want to write that down so you remember it um, so anyway I think this is just going to be more and more the same as I think a hiking tips I'll get them in the, in the video I think it's about time to start the really gross it's okay to be human video so I'm going to do something I did at the Akawara Prairie and uh, I've lengthen the stand out as far as it's going to go and I just want to try to give you a view of the massive I mean I feel like I'm on an African safari man and you know I'm way the hell away from anything Well, I hope that gave you a view of what I'm seeing. Of course, I'm only a foot tall, <laughs> so I didn't get to see what you just saw. I can't. That's why I watch my own damn videos, so that I can see stuff like that, you know. So that'll be cool. I'll go ahead and put the stand back away, and uh, we'll keep going. I don't think there's going to be much else to see. Uh, we'll get on that uh, those other videos here in a bit. So I hadn't really shown you what's on the other side of the path, and this is a real beautiful spot right here check this out I'm gonna get it up high again all right getting back over here okay there you go. I always get the weird stuff on the video. Looks like there used to be a fence of some kind right here. But why would you fence a creek? <laughs> you know, and, and if you look over here, there's no remnants of the fence. So I would love to have the story behind why there's a fence right there. But I mean, and you see it doesn't continue on the other side over here either. It's just right here in the creek. So, huh, isn't that bizarre? Well, this is just a little more to the hiking video. This is kind of what you say. Now, what I recommend this is, this is okay. You know, if you want to get out to nature and not be around people and not see a living soul for many miles, uh, this is this is a recommended hike. But like I said, I mean, it's not even a marked trail. So you do this at your own risk because uh, ain't nobody going to find you back here. I mean, this is uh, way off grid, um, but uh, you know, so you would want a hiking partner with you. Don't be an idiot like me. I did, well, you know, let's, let's just talk about my lunacy and idiocy, you know. So today, I I just, you know, I was in a hurry to get here. And uh, I, because uh, I'm, you know, I, I took me a while to get out of the house. And uh, so I knew I was getting a late start. 
Um, so I decided not to put the leather jacket on because it's a hot day. And I just said, screw the helmet, you know. So I put the goggles on. Now, it's a bit of a haul to get here. And man, <laughs> although, I mean, the bugs aren't out terribly here in Florida. Let's get a little bit of what I'm seeing. You know, you got the stream over here. You can see it's pretty, pretty height. Uh, but man, I'm going to tell you, those bugs hurt when they hit your face at 55 miles an hour. <laughs> and, and even, I mean, the small ones, I mean, you know, if it was a big bug, I bet it would just, you know, like, hell, it could knock you out, man. <laughs> you know, you just, uh, without a helmet on. So, uh, but yeah, I got a few in my face coming out here. But uh, So I once again do as I say, not as I do. Always wear a helmet if you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I had, of course, I got goggles on you, and you—that's something you would never want to do—is go for a, a, a motorcycle ride without eye protection. Uh, because uh, I mean, even a small bug—if it hits you in the eye at 55 miles an hour, you know, it's going to do some damage. So uh, you know, you always want at least sunglasses on. But the thing about sunglasses is, if you turn your head. Whoosh! <laughs> bye bye sunglasses. <laughs> so, so that's why I wear the, the, the motorcycle goggles. Now I know it looks stupid. Probably other motorcycle riders make fun of me, and I got all that reflective tape all over my motorcycle. So I, anyway, that's just uh, just me. I'm still hearing that bird. He's following right along with me. Maybe he wants to keep me company today. That'd be the only thing to keeping me company. But boy, this trail's going on and on. I like it. I like it. I mean, it's a, and it's an easy hike. It's easy on the feet. It's not like that rocky Oklahoma River Trail. You know, and I put the hikers on today. So my feet are just uh, snug and, and uh, you know, you can hike forever in these hikers. You know, tennis shoes, uh, you know, you might think, well, the tennis shoes, you know, they wouldn't be too bad in here. No, hikers are, if you're hiking, you want hikers. And uh, they just, they just really do. Of course, and I put inserts in the hikers. So I've got even more padding underneath my feet. So, because you always got to take care of the dogs, people. You got to take care of the dogs. So, this will look familiar. <clears throat> the next hike we're going to do here at Sunny Hill Restoration, don't know when, is we're going to go down this way as far as I can go. I don't know if, we, but uh, I'm going to head on back today because I've done enough and uh, we've, we've come this way before and. Uh, I just want to get the water in here. Pretty cool, huh? And, uh, you know, what we did before is I went and I went right and kind of turned into a horsey trail. Maybe someday we'll try to get a little further up that. And now I'm going to just come up here. I'm just doing a loop. And I'm going to head back through the campground. That'll be uh, the next video. And, uh, and that'll be it for the day. Probably, unless I see something fun. Well, you've seen this before. I just want to get just a wee bit on the video because um, this is a completely different look of the Sunny Hill restoration area than you've seen before. You, know, you can tell we're back underneath the tree canopy, uh, nice and shaded, especially when I didn't bring a hat today because it was windy and I didn't think I was going to need it and of course I did. I probably sunburned but uh, you see what I'm seeing. You know it's, a, it's a real beautiful back in here and wait till you see this campground. God I want to come back here and have a hike. I mean, in a camp, but uh, we'll, we'll talk about that at the campground. Here's a cool looking beetle. Check him out. Hopefully you can see him when I'm getting him on the video. There he goes. All right. So a quick video of the camping area. It's too bad this water's not potable. Boy, that would have been a nice touch for the, but this is the campground. So I like this, uh, shelter here. That's very, very nice. You don't usually see that in a primitive camping area. And uh, boy, I tell you, see what I want to do is take that auto, my, my motorcycle back in here with that carrier once I get it mounted properly and then bring some firewood in here and I would just stack, you know, maybe make two or three trips and just, because it's close enough to my house that I could do it and over a couple of days. Just have a big pile of pie. I mean, of course somebody got it before me, that's fine. But, uh, but this is, uh, now what's the one thing missing that you know that I'm always looking for. Think about it. What do we not see in here? An outhouse. <laughs> There's no outhouse. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be gross, but I mean, I'm telling you, you know, when you're 57 and uh, you, you've been had cancer twice and 15 surgeries 
um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you got to go a few times. And uh, so, you know, I'd be constantly hiking up into these woods, trying to find spots to to do my thing. So that's, uh, it looks like that could be somebody had to go, who knows. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the only drawback to that primitive camping, but I do want to do it. The only reason I have it is because I'm trying to get mind, body, spirit, finances, and house, and of course, transportation, cars, uh, motorcycle, everything ready for the coming financial crisis. Um, so I consider com the computers and my office and everything part of that. Uh, so I hope you're getting ready for it too, but that's where all my time's going. Um, so anyway, peace out guys. Uh, get one more video back at the sign. We'll show what we did today and uh, show where we're going next, uh, next time we're back out this way. The end of the day, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the motorcycle. Of course, nobody else in the parking lot. But uh, rather than show the motorcycle and say that's always a welcome sight, which it is, we're going to do just an end of hike video because I wanted to kind of show what we did. Okay, so we came in right here. We hiked down this road and rather than go this way, we went this way. And we hiked under these power lines and went on down as far as, as I could get. Now we could have kept going, but it was getting real muddy and looked looked like a tough hike, maybe an area that was never meant to be hiked. So then we came back from down here. We went up here and we came down this, this side, on the left side of the trail. Came down to about, uh, well maybe it was right here, okay. Came across the water and, uh, and then just looped back and came here. I was about two and a half hours, okay. So it, and it was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous day. Um, next time we come back, uh, well, I was thinking about parking here and maybe just coming in this way, okay, and, and just do an all fresh hike rather than parking here and then coming and then waiting to start the video right here to get this portion of the trail and then hike all the way back. So we'll park at this entrance right here. Um, now, and I'll pull in, I'm going to be going out on the motorcycle. This is uh, Southeast 182nd Avenue Road, and uh, we'll pull in here and get a quick video. Pull in here. I'll show you. This is the Southern Trail. I didn't even know the South Track existed until I looked at this map, and I found this parking lot the other day. And then we're also going to come back to here and park here and do this portion of the trail, and we'll save that for another day. But I'll show you these two parking areas here and here on the way out, and uh, and that's it for the day. And then someday I, I do want to come and camp right here. That would be an awesome place to camp. What a perfect day. All right.